What's up guys, Sam Adams here, and welcome to On The Topic Of, which is a series every single Friday here on my channel, where I choose a video game topic that's been in the news spotlight in the past week, and I give my opinions on it, give my thoughts on it, as well as a little bit of background information, and uh, you know, tell you guys what's up. So this week we're going to be talking about Uncharted 4, specifically the facial expression news that we got this past week. So um, let's go ahead and start off with what that is. There are going to be between 300 and 500 bones for each of the facial constructions of the characters. And so what that basically means is uh, more easily described through this picture. This is an example of bone in computer animating, I believe is what it's called, something along those lines. And um, pretty much, uh, if you look down at your hand, you see these lines on your fingers. That's where each of the individual bones bends and the joints help move your fingers and that's how all of this happens. You know, this wouldn't happen without bones and joints. Uh, in the same way, whenever you're doing faces for game animation, you have to put bones in where you want the face to bend in order to make facial expressions and mouth movements and, you know, certain eye twitches if you want to really draw the um, gamer in and get them to pay attention to what's going on with the story. So, in Uncharted 4, there are going to be between 300 and 500, and some of you might say, shouldn't there be like a million? No, because this game was one of the most beautiful and emotionally impacting games that I and a lot of other people have ever played and this had between 90 and 100 bones for each of the faces in this game which is absolutely breathtaking to me because if you haven't played the last of us there is this one scene at the end of the game that really got me and that's where i saw just how emotionally affecting a face can be in a game uh there's this giant moment of uh you know is he going to do the good thing or the bad thing and he ends up doing I'm not going to say which one but just the look that you can see through the way his face moves and the way that his eyes look uh, it gives a message that just can't be portrayed in words and if you don't know the human mind kind of takes in how to react to a certain situation or how someone else is acting in a situation based more off of body language and facial expressions than the words themselves obviously if you see someone with their head down and a pouting expression you know they're sad if you see someone that's jumping for joy and happy and smiling and laughing then you know they're probably happy that's just how the brain works and so game developers are having to kind of move that into the game in order to really deeply emotionally impact the person playing the game and I think that Uncharted 4 is going to do that on a level that we have not seen on the PlayStation platform at least or on console gaming in general uh, ever I think that it's going to blow people away and I absolutely can't wait to see what happens um, if you read further into this, I don't think Naughty Dog would go to the trouble of putting between 300 and 500 bones in each of the facial structures of the characters if there wasn't some kind of big emotional narrative. I'm predicting something is going to happen to Drake or another one of the main characters. I can't remember if Sully's still around. I feel like he is. But, um... I feel like something giant and emotionally impacting is going to happen in this game and I can't wait to see what it is. Obviously the Uncharted franchise itself is famous for the amazing narratives that they have. Uh, I love the story of the Uncharted franchise and I can't wait to see, like I said, what happens in Uncharted 4, but I definitely think it was a good move to have it pushed back until 2016 and this week's news just confirms that. I don't think the game would have been ready at launch and I think that it would have been broken and not as good as it could be, but thankfully we are seeing the best version of the game that I think Naughty Dog can offer and I can't wait to turn my PlayStation 4 on and play that thing whenever it's released next year and I definitely can't wait to tell you guys more about it when we definitely hear more about it at E3. So there you guys have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like down below and comment what you think about Uncharted 4. Do you think that the facial expressions are imperative to showing how a person is feeling? Do you think that the emotions impact the game as a whole? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to head over and check out some of my other videos. I upload new stuff like four or five days a week, so there's always something new to check out here on my channel. And as always, I just want to take the time to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.